logistically, you're the... Uh, I'm the attorney for Tootsie's and Mr. Steve Smith. All right. Um, so talk to us about what has brought us to this point. This seems to be a, you know, a disagreement over who is going to be the Grand Marshal tomorrow, well, just a few hours. I'll tell you exactly what has brought us to this point. Mr. Steve Smith and Tootsie's are the major contributor to the parade. They have given $250,000 to this parade. As you probably know from prior history, Piedmont for years and years was a major sponsor for the parade. Now Mr. Smith and Tootsies have taken over. And what has happened today is that Tennessee Holiday Productions and Miss Standler, who is a producer of the parade, and other people behind closed doors have made a unilateral decision to exclude Kid Rock as the Grand Marshal and not include Mr. Smith on, in this decision. This is like a majority owner of a corporation or of a business being excluded like a, by a minority stockholder. It, it, it's absolutely not right. Mr., uh, you know, Mr. Smith and Kid Rock are friends and also in business have the Kid Rock Honky Tonk and uh, Kid Rock has been the Grand Marshal last year and is going to be the Grand Marshal this year. Uh, Kid Rock intends to show up tomorrow for the parade and be the Grand Marshal. How do you square that with what Piedmont and the other group uh, organizers have said, saying he's not going to be? In fact, they've extended that invitation to James Shaw Jr. Well, we'll see in the morning. We will see in the morning what happens. Mr. Smith is the majority stockholder in this parade and provides a majority of the funds to let it happen and for people to go behind closed doors, make decisions like this without consulting him are absolutely wrong. Uh, we are doing our due diligence and looking to legal options at this point too. As we're aware, the courthouse will be shut down tomorrow, but uh, we will be exploring legal options come Monday morning if Kid Rock is excluded from this. Of course, this all started from this morning from comments that Kid Rock made on a cable talk show. Um, I think a lot of people at home are just kind of wondering, you know, this is a, a Christmas parade and, and the holiday spirit, um, and, and yet this fight's going on about who's going to be a, a Grand Marshal. Uh, let me give you a little background into what's going on with this. Uh, it's my understanding that Kid Rock's manager extended an invitation to Ms. Behar to uh, come and be the co-Grand Marshal with Kid Rock in the parade tomorrow. Kid Rock offered his airplane, his Learjet to go up and pick her up. There have been cordial talks amongst Kid Rock's managers and uh, Miss Behar's uh, people, and uh, there doesn't appear to be a problem between them right now. The problem uh, appears to be with everyone else at this point. What do you mean by that? The, the, the problem appears to be with, I guess, our city leaders, Mayor Briley, Freddie O'Connell, and on that point, it's our, it's our understanding that they really don't have any skin in the game as it relates to this. All the security as it relates to the uh, parade are being paid for by private funds, by Mr. Smith's funds, and uh, the city is not paying for this. Mr. Smith is providing the majority of the money to pay for this. So with that being said, I mean, can you see a scenario? You mentioned if he's not up there tomorrow. Can you see a scenario where he's not? Where who? Uh, pardon where, me? Where Kid Rock's not the Grand Marshal tomorrow? Can you uh, see a scenario where he's not? We're not seeing a scenario at, at this point. What makes he, him he, he intends to show up and uh, show up and serve as a Grand Marshal tomorrow. Is he upset by this? Uh, I, I can't talk as it relates to uh, Kid Rock at this point. Well, what makes him the perfect Grand Marshal tomorrow? In your what makes him the perfect Grand Marshal? Everything Kid Rock has done for this community, everything he's done for kids, all the charity work. I, I couldn't even begin to name the amount of charity work he, he, he has done, not only in this city, but nationwide. And I know you're here uh, speaking on behalf of Mr. Smith. I'm just wondering if, if, if he himself has anything. No, Mr. Smith has no comments. I'm speaking for him tonight. No, we, we, we just hope all this controversy gets settled by in the morning and the parade is able to go on like it went on last year and uh, with no controversy and it can get back to the focus of what the parade's about the kids in Christmas.
think cooler heads will prevail tomorrow morning? We absolutely hope so.